Here we are, everyone, at the Evergreen State College Beach. Here's a little close-up of it on a nice, fine day. A little bit clouded over. And it has been the site, according to an article in the LA Times, of about 40 sexual assaults that have um, taken place that have been reported. Um, and one, that's interesting, I never knew the name of that creek. We've got Barking Dog Creek. We walk by it all the time. It has that name. And this is the place of these assaults going down these trails. And the police officer they interviewed said that it is a very difficult place to police. You've just got these thick woods with these, you know, little kind of catacombs of trails so what do what do they do right oops sorry I was just reliving the days before they tore all of this down I found that little street I talk about this is a little sweet hill that is the old Sherwood press right there and this is where men can love to walk we'd go right there and down this little secret road really sweet and there'd always be a woman here in this perfect home drinking tea this place was in utterly perfect condition and was a um a little hell spot and here was this historic place on the corner and then this fun 60s place with the big windows so that is what We've got this one, and then I found a few others, too. Here's this mug. I don't know what orc, orcs these things are, and they have many members, and they boast about how they're educated in blah, 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 and... There's just tons of pages with mugs. This is the preservation page. Then we've got the commission page. Then we've got the planning page. And it's wild. And yet, they gutted this basically village with the most perfect little lane ever. I just remember we would walk down it and it would just feel perfect. Like I said, I think AI. But here, sorry. We need to go on to the LA Times article about Olympia. And then this was funny. We've got this woman named Alicia Saltmarsh and they're talking about crime. And so she goes and says, we need, we've got crime. There's all this big problem. And then when we're like almost done with the article or halfway through, then it says she sees the forest more as metaphor than actual threat and that most assaults are committed by someone the woman knows, not by strangers, which isn't true out there, actually. It's Ted, kind of Ted Bundy land out there. There's people that just hide out there and pop out. There's been some that have worn, like, masks and things. But here was what she wanted, um... And someone, I want to live in the screaming hut, one student wrote uh, in her book. So yes, where you would walk by a hut and you would hear a woman screaming being raped. Or you would suddenly walk by a pile of bones of where, you know, women had been dumped. And, um, you know, that this would make awareness, you know. And um, so hiding natural material sculptures so that was her idea um she was upset it said that the college said they couldn't afford it that it was a um you know that it was a 
a money thing. <laughs> I, I, I think this was during the Les Purse days, and I, I thought that was interesting that he, uh, he responded, uh, yeah, paying for it is a problem. So she was trying to get, you know, could art, could art tame the wilderness of violence? Um, and uh, dot, dotted with artworks affirming the power of women. But it didn't sound like it was affirming the power of women. It just sounded like really scary stuff, like the Screaming Hut, you know, being the name of, of one of them. So very interesting, funny stuff here. Um, again, I wanted to show you this. I do think some of that neighborhood we were in was listed as historic, but I don't see why the entire town isn't. Everywhere is pretty much like that. Um, you've got some bigger houses by the Capitol, but I found this to be bizarre. Yikes. Um, the downtown Olympia, once again, which is kind of just built on pilings, and yet, sorry, over here, and yet nothing over here was. I had thought, oh, this must be like the Bigelow farm. And yet Bigelow Park and Bigelow Avenue. Um, there's Pine. There's Bigelow Avenue. This is where a lot of historic homes are. We'll drive over there. There's kind of the old Bigelow farm. Doc had lived in one of the Bigelow houses up the street further there. And I think that the city kind of allowed stuff to be torn down there. This has super historic stuff all along it. It's weird. It's like, oh, um, yeah, I just, I don't get it. And then here's the west side of Olympia where really, I don't know if these little yellow things are marked, like it's their friends' houses. But it's weird that only Rogers Street is really mentioned here, and that's where the co-op is, right? It's like, oh, it's our little, our little co-op is there and that, and it's not even a great building. It's in like an old, just an old like, you know, 60s grocery store or something. So that's interesting how they, you know, and I don't know why they make this historic. This is, this is kind of just the 4th Ave just kind of old buildings that aren't that great. No fo foliage around them. They've just been having pilings coming into them and um, pollution for years. They really probably are a toxic waste site. Most of this area right here is a Superfund site. This was all listed in the EPA as Superfund. You know where that vampire bar is? That was Ken's Tires, super fun to cite. So, you know, I'm sure she doesn't even know about this or whatever they are. Um, yeah, so interesting. What do you think? Let me know about, about this, you know, are we outing these kind of weird fake and they say, you know, you have to have a degree in historic preservation and yet they, they're doing nothing but that whole area right now. Think of just the amount of birds and squirrels and people who lived there and how perfect it was. And they're putting up an unimaginative Lego. And as the professor at Columbia said, that was his greatest anger towards social so-so-ism was their shite architecture and lack of beauty eyes. Lack of beauty eyes. They are truly the definition of monsters. Monsters.